Help is here for those living with Alzheimer's and dementia. A form of musical therapy can trigger memories, in turn helping them remember their lives and loved ones. Here to tell us more about this music therapy is Sandra Scott and Monty Draney from Morningside Ministries. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. A pleasure. pleasure. To start off with, first tell us what exactly Morningside Ministries is and what it does. Morningside Ministries is a senior living organization. We've been in San Antonio for 54 years now, and we are located in both San Antonio and Bernie. We provide retirement living options from independent and assisted of living to skilled nursing and rehab and memory care at all of our locations. Now let's yeah let's talk about that memory care. You are in charge of that program, the music. Music and memory. Program. How does that work? Well, what happens is they they get music from their their lives from their childhood on up, mm -hmm. and the music will invoke memories and create connections back with uh, their loved ones and their past lives. So and give us some examples. Well, like some examples is uh, one of our ladies was pretty much. Um, non-communicative, uh, non-participatory in activities. We do some sensory stimulation things with her, but once we put the music on, she started laughing, she'd clap her hands, and now she's more involved and more aware. We were going down the hall the other day, and she saw some copper dishes that we had, and she goes, oh, pretty, like that. <laughs> and she was practically nonverbal, and now she yeah. holds her son's hand, walks around with him. Another gentleman, he, um, he was nonverbal, totally nonverbal. I mean, you'd ask him questions and nothing would come out. And uh, once we put the music on, he started verbalizing. So last weekend, his son came in and said, my dad is talking so much better now. I put him on the phone with my brother and they had a conversation. He said, I want to take him out now. That's wonderful. And those are the things that we like to do, make those connections, mm -hmm. bring them back themselves. We give them back themselves. That's what the program does. So I guess you've got to talk with their family members to try and Correct. figure out some music that they listened to back yes. in the day. To so help. What, what we do is we actually have a questionnaire and we ask the family member to fill it out, to complete it, and let us know what music is familiar to their loved one from about their ni 19 years old to about the mid-20s because that's when a lot of their cognitive memories and music and emotional connection is formed and we download it to an iPod and have a personalized playlist for all of our residents. Wow, so how long have you had the program here now? Um, we were certified in the spring and mm -hmm. so we've been operative for about six months now mm -hmm. and have had wonderful results. Mm -hmm. So and I guess what family members, what are they telling you? I mean it's got to be really hard to oh. see your loved one first of all not talking, not mm -hmm. you know understanding what's going on and to have such a change with just music. It's right. bringing them great comfort because they can reconnect with them. Mm -hmm. So it, it's terrific. It's like a miracle. Oh, that is wonderful. So how would if someone get um, more information about this? Well, they can go to musicandmemory.org or mmliving.org. This month is um, Alzheimer's Awareness Month and with over 47 million people worldwide suffering from this disease, it's really important that caregivers, family members know that there is hope mm -hmm. that they can connect with their loved ones again. All right, well, thank you so much. That is so wonderful to hear. It's great stuff. All right, thank you.